Give a shout out to Money Brown TV from the punchline. What's good, Money Brown TV? What up, what up? Yeah. Hey, yeah, Money Brown, we're on the way up, baby. Yeah, got Tuzzle we're coming up, baby. Get us now. Yo, 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 what's going on out there, Fight World? It's your boy Money back with another one, man. And we talking the three division world champion, Naoi, the monster, Inui. You know, one of my favorite fighters in the world right now, man. One of my favorite fighters in the world. And I got him winning the Bantamweight um, tournament. You know, the World Super Series that's going on. Um, what can we say about this, man? Three division world champion. Um, one of the hottest fighters in the world. And damn sure, a pound for pound fighter. He's definitely on my pound for pound list. And if you guys don't got this man on y'all pound for pound list, y'all don't know boxing. You understand me? If you don't have him on your pound for pound list, you don't know boxing. You understand? The monster, man. He is a monster. They gave him the right name, bro. They gave him the right name. You know, they should have put the Japanese monster. Because that's exactly what Naoi is, man. Now, looking at him, man, he's a killer. He possesses everything in his arsenal. But what's crazy and, and scary about him is his power, his accuracy, and his precision. You know, he's in uh, the Super Bantamweight World Tournament. And I got him destroying everybody. Everybody. Emmanuel Rodriguez, get ready to be uh, exterminated. You know, I'm going to make a video with um, Ignoia and Rodriguez. But right now, we just talking to Monster, man. Because he is the truth. He is the real deal. And if you don't know him, you better get to know him. You know, like I said, three division world champion. I think he did it in 15 fights, if I'm not mistaken. But he's a bad boy. He's a bad boy. His last fight, he knocked out Carlos Payana in one round. <laughs> I think with the second punch he threw, it don't get no better than that, yo. It do not get any better than that. When you're talking about a killer, you know, when you're talking about the best of the best, the creme de la creme. You talking about the monster. You talking about the monster. Now, uh, his next fight is against Emmanuel Rodriguez. Emmanuel Rodriguez is a hell of a fighter. I respect him. I take nothing from him. But I just don't see him uh, hanging with the monster, man. I don't see Tay Tay hanging with him. I don't see Nonito Denar hanging with him. I just see Ryan Burnett. Ryan Burnett probably, you know, being the Olympian that he is, you know, he probably possessed a few problems. You know what I mean? Tete is a technician. I think he possessed a few problems. But I don't think them dudes are, you know, capable of beating this man. I got him becoming a better weight um, champion and unified champion by the time the tournament is over with. You know what I mean? It's just like some cats are special and have it. And the monster has it. You know? Whatever he's doing in Japan, he's doing it right. Japan, stand up. Stand up, Japan. Y'all have a great fighter in this man. Y'all have a Hall of Famer. And he's not slowing down no time soon. No time soon. You know, I don't know if he's going to try to push his luck and try to do it in four divisions. But if he do it, I salute him. I salute him, man. Like I say, he has all the skills in the world. He has a good job. He has good defense. He has great foot movement, great um, head movement, you know. But like I say, the freakish thing about him is his power, you know. The monster is a little guy, but he packs the biggest punch. And we know what I call it, the nuclear bomb. He packs that nuclear bomb, man, you know. And at Bantamweight right now, He's the hottest thing out. Nobody is touching him. You know, nobody is touching him. I'm looking forward to seeing him and uh, Ryan Burnett fight in the future. 
I still believe that fight can get made. We understand what happened to Ryan Burnett. He lost his title with a back injury going up against Donito Denner in the fight that he was winning. You know, now Donito Denner is taking on um, Zelani Tete. You dig what I mean? And the winner of that fight will be fighting the winner of Naoi and Emmanuel Rodriguez, which we know Naoi is going to land that nuclear bomb on Emmanuel Rodriguez, you know, and send him on his way. And I believe Tay-Tay will be uh, victorious against Nonito Denner. And that was set up. That was set up. The monster versus Tay-Tay. Which, what I thought, of, you know, I'm not going to say I thought it would be that all the time alone because I thought Ryan Burnett could beat Tay-Tay. But that was going to be a close fight. But I don't see nobody standing with Naomi, man. Like, this dude is the real deal. Um... When you look at him, he go in there, he's about his business. He don't waste no time. He don't play around. He put in the hard work, you know, and skills pays the bills. Skills pays the bills. And I think he's the most skillful fighter at 118 pounds. You know, like he's no joke, man. He's no joke. If you guys don't know about him, you better Google. You better go watch his fights. You better study, and you better pay homage. You know, I think these um, smaller weight classes deserve more recognition. You know, the better weights. You know what I mean? They deserve more recognition because they are deep, and they are a great class, and they are a hell of a fighters, and you do have Hall of Fame fighters in the division. So you must pay them respect. You see, no need the nerve went back down. He understood the opportunity that was there, and he tried to take advantage of it. I ain't going to say he tried. He's trying to take advantage because he just became champion again going up against Ryan Burnett. Regardless of how people say how he became champion or not, guess what? He's in the history books as a champion at 118 pounds. You know? And Iowa is looking to conquer that title along with the ones that Lonnie Tete has. You know what I mean? And come out on top. Come out on top and put Japan on top of the world holding the Ali Trophy with all the titles. You know? It don't get no better than that, man. It don't get no better than that. Now, this tournament was one hell of a tournament. I respected it. It was packed. It had all the champions. And, and it gets no better. When we trying to get Unifications at 47 and at 40 and at 54 and at 60 and at 68 and at 75. It's happening right there at 118 pounds. Right there at Bantamweight. The best fighting the best. That's what we want. That's what we want to see. And they're giving it to us. So salute to them Bantamweights, man. Salute to them Bantamweights. They deserve more praise. They deserve more praise. Naoi name should be on everybody pound for pound list. You know, people should res be respecting this man. And I feel like he's not getting the respect he deserves. He deserves more respect than what he's getting. You know what I'm saying? He's not backing down. He's taking on the best. And he's demolishing them. And one side of performances, putting on a show. Showing what everybody want to see. Knockouts. Excitement. You know? And to come from a little bitty man like him, it makes it that more impressive. And I think people need to pay homage. I think the, the boxing world need to wake up and see that this man is the real deal. You know what I mean? Lomachenko get all the praise in the world. He deserves it. But Naomi is right there with him. He deserves his praises as well. Three divisions and 15 fights. 14 or 15, if I'm not mistaken. And doing it in impressive fashion against real champions. There's nothing you can say that can discredit this man's journey on the road to being a three-division world champion. Now in the um, Bantamweight Tournament, the Super World Series Tournament, the Bantamweights, putting on spectacular shows. All you can do is salute him 
and show him the respect that he deserves. You know what I mean? I'm going to say it again. The monster, Naoi, will be victorious, will win the Super Bantamweight Tournament, the Super Series, I'm sorry, the World Super Series Tournament with the Bantamweights, and he will be crowned the King of the Bantamweights. I already got him as the King of the Bantamweights, hands down, hands down. Performance has been nothing but superb, exciting, and spectacular. You know, I know greatness when I see it, man. I know greatness when I see it. And this man is great. This man is great. It's going to be cats out there trying to deny it and take his credit away. But I'm not going to let them do that. Respect the King Naoi. Respect the Master Naoi. Enjoy his fights. And watch that man put on the show when it's time for him and Emmanuel Rodriguez to lock horns and get it on. So I'm going to say it one more again, y'all. I got the monster winning the World Boxing Super Series for the Bantamweights in impressive fashion and a one-sided fashion. And I got him knocking out everybody. I got him knocking out Emmanuel Rodriguez. I got him knocking out Zelani Tate, And that's a fact for Monty Brown. Until then, this is your boy Monty. This is the NSBC moving. Ain't nobody safe in these streets. Hit them thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. If you want to donate, it's in the description. Y'all be peaceful out there. And I'll be back with another one. Peace.